Welcome back to the channel on my journey with the Lotus Esprit, getting it ready for a road trip to Hethel. If you haven't already subscribed, please click or tap on the little icon in the bottom corner to find out what I'm trying to sort out or fix next time. In this video, I'm looking at the door mirror. When I bought the car, the passenger side mirror glass was broken, making it difficult to see anything in. So I've been taking the broken glass out, it gives access to some of these things here. So first thing you see is this screw here and you think, oh, that would be good. So I'll undo that screw and it will take the thing off, uh, get the plastic, um, this plastic shroud away from the sort of innards behind it. But that doesn't seem to do anything. Then you notice these two holes here. And in fact, if you were either looking them with a, with a torch or just, just sort of feel around with it, with a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, you then find the heads of a couple of self-tapping screws. You take those out and lo and behold, this whole module then comes out. Now clearly it should have these things connected and this is probably one of the reasons why the electric window, uh, the electric uh, mirror adjustment doesn't work. Go. that's what sits inside the mirror housing um, lots of bugs spiders now whilst on the door I noticed the door mirror was a little bit wobbly on its on its stalk so I decided to take it off now that wasn't a particularly easy thing to do um, these two captive bolts pass through the door skin and just inside the door kind of right in the corner there is where the nuts on, go on the back of them. Now one of them is relatively easy to do but the one that's furthest forward was a bit of a mare to be fair. And having done that it actually works out that I can't do anything about it. There's no, there's nothing kind of inside that you can do. Um, it's just a you know, kind of piece of, piece of shaped metal in there. There's no, there's no access to sort of any screws or threads or anything so it is anything, anything that's that's there that can do that is this kind of nut in the corner with a sprung washer and as you can probably see from the top of that it's uh, it's all corroded so that's not really going anywhere but it's probably not applying quite enough pressure um, to hold the thing steady now in a certain place it does hold um, the moment you sort of fold the mirror back in or fold it out a little bit it wobbles so I'm not sure whether there's something I can do Maybe sort of jam a washer into there underneath it to give it a little bit more, um, you know, give it a little bit more purchase on on the on the mirror housing. Anyway, next I'll, I'll have a look at that, and uh, next thing I've got to do is get those nuts back on, get it back on the door. Now the internal part of the mirror taken off, you can see what used to happen. Uh, you know when it was connected and when it was working, but the reason why it's probably disconnected and stopped working. So there's four kind of solenoids or electromagnets in there. And as you wait as you waggle your joystick on the door, it presumably fires each of those solenoids and just jogs or joggles the uh, the plate with the mirror on it into the position you need it to be. Um, I don't know how often you need, really need to do that and it's probably a bit of a luxury having a remote control so I may choose to keep it without a remote um, for now and just press it in and out manually, just adjust it manually, probably the easiest thing to do. Anyway, what I need to do is to find a mirror for this. So I'm going to go off to, um, go off to Halfords and try and get one that kind of fits that shape if I can. Failing that, it will be getting one from a kind of custom mirror maker. Um, but hopefully there's one in, uh, Hopefully there's one in Halfords that's there or thereabouts. Well, if I'd thought that taking that door mirror off was a difficult job, putting it back on was an absolute swine. Just getting that last nut on meant that I was kind of at the very end of my, the reach of my fingers. Trying to get that small nut onto the end of that long uh, bolt was just nigh impossible. But I managed it um, and as I said I was going to do it, I went down to Halfords to see if I could find a a replacement mirror glass of course none of them are the right size none of them actually fit that there's not even in the book uh, of ones to look up um, so I got one that was kind of a bit of an overlap and thought I oh, know cut it to size 
sadly the glass cutter I had didn't even touch it so uh, it looks like I'm going to be getting the the proper job from uh, SJ Sports Cars or something like that um, and uh, I when I get that I'll be able to fit it thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment I try and reply to all of them and if you'd like to join me on the journey with this Esprit then subscribe and you'll see all the latest things that I'm doing with the car getting it ready to go to Hethel. See you next time. Bye bye.